Hello boys and girls, this is Ms. Kim. Today we are going to form our own opinions about different places where trees can be planted. Remember last week? We learned that opinions express people's thoughts and their feelings. We also talked about how important it is to share your reasons or explain why you think a certain way. Ask yourself, why do you think that way? And explain it to the person who is asking for your opinion. Now, let's start our lesson. Hello, kindergarten. Welcome to day 28. Your learning target for today is, I can form an opinion on where trees should be planted and explain why. Now read it with me. I can form an opinion on where trees should be planted and explain why. Today, you will talk about and write your opinion on whether trees should be planted in certain places or not. Today, you will need the places where we can find trees sheet as well as page eight of your journal. With a family member or friend, look at places where we can find trees. Before you look at places where you can find trees, I have some guiding questions that will help you look at it more closely. First, as you look at the photographs, think about, where are the trees planted? Are they planted in the park, inside a building, outside on a hill, near a house? Where are the trees planted? Second, what do I see around the trees? Do you see a playground, a gra grass, people, house? What do you see around the trees? Are these good places for trees? Why or why not? Now we're ready. Look at different places where we can find trees. These are photographs of different places that you've seen where you can plant trees. You can plant trees near a house, inside a building, at a park, or on a hill. What did you notice as you looked at these pictures? I noticed that there is a house, a street, windows, ceiling, people, playground, grass, building, and a hill. Remember in the beginning of our lesson, we said that we will form our own opinion and explain why we think that way. Today, you're going to look at your learning packet for day 28 and answer the question. In your opinion, is this a good place to plant trees? Look at the picture on the side. Do you think this is a good place to plant trees? Write a sentence to support your opinion. Now, before you start your learning packet on your own, I'm going to show you how to answer the question and write your question answer on your paper. If you look at my page, you will see that I have a different picture than the one that you have in your learning packet. I have this picture of trees on the top of a hill. I want to show you what you would have to do. The question asked, in your opinion, is this a good place to plant trees? 
Hmm. Let me think. Is the top of the hill a good place to plant trees? Yes, I think so. I think hill is a great place to plant trees. Now that I have formed my own opinion, I have thought about my own opinion. I can write my sentence. Now, remember last Friday, I gave you many sentence starters to help you express your opinions. There are different sentence starters, including I think, I believe, I feel. I like, I love, I enjoy, but today I think I'm going to use I think. In your opinion, is this a good place to plant trees? Yes. So I will start my sentence with yes. Y, y. I have to capitalize my beginning letter. Eh, eh. S. Yes. Now I have to write. I think. I think. What do I think? I think a hill is a good place. So I'm gonna count my. Words in my sentence, so I'm sh I'm making sure all the words are in my sentence. Yes, I think a hill is a good place. So I have yes, I think a hill. What if I don't know how to write the word hill? I know I can sound it out. Hill. <sighs> eh. Oh, hill. <gasps> eh. Oh, I think a hill is a good now. I can look back at my question and find the word good place. Oh, there it is. Now that I ran out of space in my line, I go to the next line and write place. And then a period. I will make sure that I have the right sentence by rereading my sentence. Yes. I think a hill is a good place. Oh, I answer the first question. The next question says, write a sentence to support your opinion. Remember, supporting your opinion means I have to explain why I think this way. So why do I think a hill is a good place? Hmm. I learned from school that trees need three things. They need sun, water, and air. I see in my photograph that the trees are getting sun, and I'm sure they will get water from rain, and there is plenty of air on the top of the hill. So, my reason is, a hill has sun, water, and air. So I can write that sentence. I will write that sentence in green. I can think about the sentence that I'm going to write and write it one word at a time. I think hill. Is a good place because it has water, sun, and air. That's a really long sentence. I'm gonna try to make it shorter. I can say a hill has sun, water, and air. That's a much shorter sentence, 
but it supports my opinion. So I'm going to write that one. A hill has sun, water, and air. I'm going to start my sentence with an uppercase letter, capital letter. A hill has as a hill has sun and I put comma water and air Now at the end of my sentence, I put a period. I'm going to reread it to make sure I have all my words in my sentence. A hill has sun, water, and air. Now, I know it seems challenging, but I want you to really think about what your opinion is on the picture that they give you. Do you think that place is a good place to plant trees? Why or why not? You can agree or disagree with other people as long as you support your opinion with good reasons. Now, it's your turn. Look at the video, think, and write your own answer. Let's think about it. Look at picture number one. In your opinion, is this a good place to plant trees? Why or why not? Pause and think about this. Let's talk about it. Look at picture number one. With a family member or friend, talk about, in your opinion, is this a good place to plant trees? Why or why not? Let's write about it. Is this a good place to plant trees? Write at least one sentence supporting your opinion.